everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'd like to show you a multi-mode reverb with an important story to tell. It's the Buffalo Days from Native Audio. Buffalo Days is fresh from Native Audio's Oki series, which offers a much simpler control set and familiar sounds from their Ghost Ridge multi-reverb. It includes four unique reverb algorithms, a warm hall, bright plate, warm reflective room, and bouncing spring which are easily dialed in with a mix and depth control. You'll be glad to know the mix retains an unprocessed analog dry signal path, while the depth controls many parameters at once, such as the level of modulation and maxed out hall settings, or the size of the spring tank. High quality buffered bypass gives you the option to select trails when powering up the pedal. When combined with a momentary switch function, you could send a burst of reverb tails into the atmosphere or chop them off instantly with trails disabled. Company founder Mike Trombley pays tribute to his Blackfeet heritage by sharing Native American culture and stories through sound. Buffalo Days tells the chapter about his ancestors' life-sustaining connection between the people and the animals that roam their land. For more information on Native Audio pedals and their heritage, visit nativeaudio.com. All right, so let's keep it simple and start with the hall mode and go through a wide range of mix and depth settings. I'm going to start clean and towards the end of the demo, I'll get a little bit more dirt so you can see how it interacts with this really lush reverb. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the uh, the depth on the hall and plate will actually give you some modulation in higher settings. So let's hear just a little bit of movement in the tails when we really increase the setting. <laughs> So you get this nice ethereal sound, but it's not completely engulfing your dry signal, even with the mix all the way up. Let's try something with a little dirt in front in this hall setting, uh, still with a very high decay, and see how it interacts. <laughs> Now onto the plate mode, and this one you'll notice has a lot brighter reflections and just a different way of decaying. Uh, again, we have some modulation in the higher depth settings.
You can probably hear, even on high settings, the plate really doesn't get in the way of your playing. It just has a nice way of fading out gradually. It doesn't get overly distorted either. Let's try this setting with both knobs cranked up with a little bit of gain, and I'll try some volume swells to get more of an ethereal sound here. Now the room mode, which has warm reflections, and it's just a nice way of putting your guitar in a very natural sounding space without sounding like a reverb. So I'm going to start very low here on the mix and on the depth as well. And finally, the spring, which is known to be very dynamic on this pedal. Let's start with the mix and depth about halfway and just change the length of the spring with the depth knob. Here's a super long tank. Very short, and I'm going to increase the mix here just to kind of really live inside this tiny space. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that's a look at the native audio Buffalo days straight from their new Oki series, which is very streamlined. But as you can hear, some great sounds packed into a simple form factor. You could check it out at nativeaudio.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for another Andy demo soon.